Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimi Hawa Shai. And I'm going to do a, um, do a video on Jeremiah chapter 42 and 43. You know, because when I, I was reading it, and as I'm reading it, it just shows that there's nothing new under the sun. You know, our people was the same way. They Our people was the same way they is um, now, like they was back then, like literally. And I'm gonna explain what I'm what I'm saying when I um when I read this. But it's Jeremiah chapter 42, and I'm gonna start at verse 1. And forgive me if I pronounce some of these names wrong. So forgive me. It says, then all the captains of the forces in uh Johanna jo Johanna, Johanna, the son of Korea, and Jezani, Jezani, the son of Hoshiah, and all the people from the least even to the great greatest came near and said unto Jeremiah. So they, they basically come into Jeremiah, right? Because Jeremiah is a prophet. So they come to Jeremiah and it says, Let we beseech thee our supplication, be accepted before thee, and pray for us unto the Lord thy God, even for all this remnant. For we are left but a few of many, as thy eyes do behold us. So they, they basically what they're doing is they basically come into Jeremiah and basically wanting Jeremiah to seek the Lord for them, to see what should they do. Because, you know, the prophets, you know, the prophets are the men that basically was telling um, future events, or they also can speak to the most, how the most high speak to them and tell, they speak through the prophets to tell the people to do something or not to do something. So they went to Jeremiah basically for guidance from the most high to see what should they do. And it says, verse 40, I mean, verse 3, that the Lord thy God may show us the way when we may walk and the thing we may do. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto the Lord your God according to your words. And and and, and it's something that I found very interesting when I was when I was reading, right? Because they said the Lord thy God may show, it says that the Lord thy God may show. That the Lord thy God, my bad, that the Lord thy God may show us the way wherein we may walk. So they basically saying the Lord, your God. They're not really saying the Lord, our God. They saying the Lord, your God. And that's how a lot of our people speak in the world when we when we keeping the Sabbath day. And they be like, oh, you you gotta keep you you keeping your Sabbath day. Like they they don't they don't basically say it's their Sabbath day too. They be like, oh, you keeping your Sabbath day. Or you you speaking to uh who you, you talking to your God you praying to your God, they don't really claim him, right? They don't really claim him. It, it, like a lot of people that's especially the ones that's in the world and they know they're doing wrong, they don't really claim the God of Israel. They be like your God, you, you keeping your feast days, you going to your you going to the, your new moon. It, they don't they don't try to really claim the Most High like that. That's how people be in the world. They will say your God because they know that you. Um, keeping the commandments, they know that you keeping high holy days, they know that you fast, and they know that you really trying to be connected to the Most High. So they'll be like Yo God, because they know they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It says, but I just want to touch on that. Verse four. Then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto the Lord your God. See, Jeremiah said your God, like that's your God too. Like you supposed to be keeping the Sabbath. This your, it's not just. Uh, my Sabbath, I'm supposed to be keeping. It's your Sabbath, you're supposed to be keeping too. Because Jeremiah said, your God, according to your words. And it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare, or shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. Then, then um said, said to Jeremiah, then they said to Jeremiah, the Lord be a true and faithful witness between us, if we do not even according to all these things for thee which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us. Hold up, my bad. He said, my bad, let me read it again. Then they said to Jeremiah, the Lord be a true and faithful witness between us if we do not even according to all these things for the which the Lord thy God shall send thee to us. Whether they be good or whether they be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send, to whom we sent, send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God, the Lord our God. So they basically saying, whatever the Most High God tell Jeremiah, rather it be good, rather it be bad, is they still gonna basically pray the praise the Most High God, like they still gonna they still gonna keep the they still gonna keep the commandments. 
right? They're going to do whatever the most high say, rather be good or bad. Now, I want y'all to remember them saying that because that's very important when you keep reading on. They said, rather it sound good or rather it sound bad. We're going to obey the voice of the Lord, our God. That's how a lot of our people be, man. A lot of our people just be talking. A lot of our people all talk. But when it when, when, when things really happen that may not be good, that they may not agree with, they want to start doubting. Oh, the Lord. No, the Lord. The Lord don't want me to do that. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can do this. They stay. They talk a good game until stuff the, 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 to the Lord try them. Right till they hear bad news. Everybody loved the Lord until they hear bad. Until they hear they got cancer. Till they till they, till they hear they finna die in five days. Right, that 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 everybody loved the Lord until they start hearing bad. Till they start hearing bad news, then they start doubting and start going against the Most High God. The same thing our people said to Moses that we was gonna obey and keep the commandments of God. We was gonna obey and keep the laws and commandments. We was gonna keep the covenant of God. And what our people did, they broke it. But it sounded good, though. They were speaking a good game. But when it actually came to action, and actually, yeah, and they actually had to um, start doing things, and then they was getting tested, and bad things started coming to them, they were like, oh, no, we can't, we, we, ain't, we ain't down for that. But it says, and it came to pass after 10 days, and that's how you, that's how you, that's a good lesson, too, as well, man. Sometimes the Lord might not answer you right away. Like, sometimes you may pray something, and the Lord, sometimes he can answer you right away and sometimes he don't. Like the Lord, it said it came to pass after 10 days that the word of the Lord came into Jeremiah. So it took 10 days for Jeremiah to get an answer from the Lord to tell them. But some people get impatient. Some people be like, well, I prayed. The Lord ain't answered me. It's only been two days. Man, the Lord, ain't, and he, is he hearing my, you question the Lord. Is he, is he hearing my prayers? Right. Am I wicked? He ain't answered me yet. You start, you start stressing out. You start getting depressed. You start crying because you're getting impatient and you're not trusting the Lord because he didn't answer you right away. It took the Lord, it took Jeremiah 10 days to get an answer from the Lord. 10 days. All right, so the Lord can answer you in 10 days. He can answer you in two months. He can answer you in five months. Or he can answer you at the same day. He can answer you in three days. It all depends, but you have to wait upon the Lord no matter what, man. It says, and it came to pass, I'm at my verse, verse 8, then called he Johan, Johanan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces which were with him, and all the people from the least even to the greatest, and said unto them, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, unto whom ye sent me to pre, um, present your supplication before him. Verse 10, if, if you will still abide in this land, then will I build you and not pull you down, and I will plant you and not pluck you up. For I repent, for I repent me of the evil that I have done unto you. Be not afraid of the king of Babylon, of whom you are afraid. Be not afraid of him, says the Lord, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you from his hand. And I will show mercies unto you, that he may have mercy upon you and cause you to return to your own land. But, but, if you say, who will not dwell in this land, neither obey the voice of the Lord your God, saying, No, but we will go into the land of Egypt, where we, where we shall see no war, nor hear the sound of the trumpet, nor have a hunger of bread, and there, will, and there will we dwell. And now, therefore, hear the words of the Lord, ye remnant of Judah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, if ye, if ye holy set your face to enter into Egypt and go to sojourn there, then... It shall come to pass that the sword which ye feared shall overtake you there in the land of Egypt. And the famine whereof ye were afraid shall follow close after you there in Egypt, and there ye shall die. So shall it be with all the men that set their faces to go into Egypt to sojourn there. They shall die by the sword, by the famine, by the pestilence, and none of them shall remain or escape from the evil that I will bring upon them. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, as my anger and my fury have been poured forth upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, so shall my fury be poured forth upon you. Then ye shall enter into Egypt, and ye shall be in uh, execration, execration, I might have said that wrong, execration, and an astonishment and a curse and a reproach. That sound like Deuteronomy 28 and 64 to me. And ye shall see this place no more. 
The Lord has said concerning you, O ye remnant of Judah, go ye not into Egypt. Know you certainly that have admonished you this day. For ye dissemble, dissemble in your hearts when ye sent me unto the Lord your God, saying, Pray for us unto the Lord our God. And according to all that the Lord our God shall say, so declare unto us, and we will do it. They said it. They said it. They literally said out their mouth, whatever the Lord say, rather, rather it's good or bad, we will do it. Whether it sound good or bad, whether it sound bad to us or not, we will do it no matter what. If the Lord tell us to stay in this land, um, uh, be under Babylon, uh, we will do it. If the Lord telling us, even though we're going to be in captivity, he's still going to make sure we are all right. right? He's still going to have mercy upon us and make sure we are all right. We're going to do that. But the Lord said, we go in Egypt. He going to punish us and bring and make us be in astonishment. So that they hearing that. No, I ain't going to even jump the gun. Let me keep reading. It says, and they said, we will do. And now I have this day declared it unto you, but ye have not obeyed uh, the voice of the Lord your God for anything for, for the which he has sent me unto you. Now, therefore, uh, know certainly that ye shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence in the place where you desire to go and to sojourn. So the Lord is basically, the Lord is speaking through Jeremiah and Jeremiah basically telling them, listen, you go in Babylon, you stay here in Babylon, although you're going to be under uh, oppression, you, he got the most high going to make sure you straight. He going to make sure you got a house. He going to make sure you got, you may, he might give you some land. He going he gonna to make sure you got food. But, because you have to remember, Israel was going off, man. So we, he punished us as a nation. But although they're going to be in punishment, he still going to make sure they straight, man. He going to make sure that he going to make sure they all right. He going to make sure they doing good, that they well off. But if you go to Egypt, you may think it's sweet over there in Egypt, that everything going to be sweet, everything going to be okay. That's what we got to give our trust into the Most High God. We can't lean on to our own understanding, which they did a good job of, of seeking Jeremiah. They did, a good job for, they did a good job to go to Jeremiah and ask Jeremiah to go to the Lord for them. That was a good job. They went hasty then. But when they got their answer... Let me, I ain't, I ain't, let me, I ain't gonna say, let me read, let me read what they said. Let me read what they did. Jeremiah 40, uh, 43. And it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people of people, all the words of the Lord, their God, for which the Lord, their God has sent him to them. Even all these words, then spake Azariah the son of uh Hosea, 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 and jo Johanan the son of Korea, and all the proud men saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speaketh falsely. The Lord our God hath not sent thee to say, Go not into the Egypt to sojourn there. So these men. These were the same men that just came to Jeremiah asking Jeremiah to seek the Lord for them. These are the same people that told Jeremiah, actually they told the Lord, rather it be good or bad, we're going to obey. But now since they hearing some, they hearing news that they they basically they basically hearing news that that didn't sit well with them. They hearing they hearing something that they 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 expected to hear. Go to Egypt, you'll be okay, you'll be protected. But they basically heard something that they didn't want to hear. So now they being now they acting like um now they saying that he's speaking falsely. They basically saying he's speaking lies. The Lord our God has not sent me to say go not into the Egypt to sojourn there. And, and that's how a lot of our people be even in today's time, man. Like a lot of our, a lot of our people, they they may come to you and ask you, oh damn, bro, um I, I I've been having um. Uh, heart problems, my body been feeling weird, I've been getting sick. And you tell them, you ask them, are they eating pork? And they be like, yeah. And you tell them, hey, you got to just lay off the pork. I'm telling you, lay off that pork. That pork is what's making you sick. They be like, oh, no, nah, I ain't laying off no pork. I don't know what you're talking about. I've been eating pork my whole life. But you just came to me and asked me, um, asked me something. And I gave you the answer that's, that can, that's beneficial to you, and you don't want to hear it. Now you're saying... Um, oh, uh, you've been eating pork your whole life. Now you're saying it ain't affecting you. But why you come to me and ask me something and I give you an answer and then you don't want to listen to the counsel I give you or the most high give you. 
That's how a lot of our people be, man. A lot, a lot of our people, um, they may come to you. I've been, I've been catching, I've been, I've been going through it a lot lately, man. I've, I've been going through it, man. I don't know what's going on. Well, you ask them, are you keeping God's commandments? Nah. Well, you need to start keeping God's commandments, brother. Nah, bro, I ain't, I ain't got to do that, bro. The law done away with. You trying to, you trying to keep me in sin by telling me I got to keep the law. The law is what made me in sin, brother. I ain't, I ain't keeping no law. You tripping. But brother, why are you even coming to me? And then I give you an answer, and you don't want to listen to it. That's the same thing that they did with Jeremiah. It's, a, it's the same as that thing they did with Jeremiah. They came to Jeremiah to seek the Lord for him. Right? He gave them the answer, tell them what the Lord said. Then they say he's speaking falsely. That's how a lot of our people do. When you don't give them the answer that they want to hear, they're not listening to you. When you tell our people, you, you can't work on the Sabbath day, brother. That's, you can't work on the Sabbath day. That's a day of rest. They don't want to hear you. When you tell them you got to keep the dietary law, you can't eat whatever you want to eat. They don't want to listen to you. They not listen when you can't get, when when you tell them they can't get tattoos. They not trying to listen to you. Why? Because you're not telling them what they want to hear. They want to hear. They want to hear something that they want to hear what please they flesh. They want to hear well, it's okay. It's okay you eat pork. It's okay that you are homosexual. They want to hear these things, even though these things are bad. They want to hear it because it please it pleases their flesh. It make them feel good. Our people love to our people love to be our people love to feel good gospel. That's why they go to Christianity. That's why that's why they listen to them pastors. They love to feel good, and these pastors make them feel good because they're not telling them the gospel. They make them feel good because they got to they give them prosperity. You have a car. The Lord finna bless you with a house. The Lord finna bless you with some money. I can see, I can see it in your future right now. I can see you driving a Bentley. I can see you, I can see you in a mansion. I can, I can see you um, having nine businesses. That, our people love to hear that, but they don't want to hear it when you tell them repent. If they don't, if they don't repent, the Lord gonna kill them. They don't want to hear that though. They don't want to hear that Christ is a so called black man. They don't want to hear that the um, the Israelites are so called black and Hispanic. They don't want to hear that. They don't hear nothing about that. So they didn't want to listen to Jeremiah. They say he's speaking falsely. Verse 3. But Baruch, the son of uh, Neriah, said it thee on against us, for the for to deliver us into the hand of the uh, Chaldeans, that they might put us to death and carry us away captive into Babylon. And also, too, you got to think about this. It took Jeremiah 10 days to come back and get them an answer. They probably lost faith, or they probably... They probably didn't want to listen after the second day. They probably like, man, he playing games. What he got going on? He ain't come back with us. He ain't come back to us yet. Man, we ain't finna listen to him. We gonna we gonna go off our own understanding. So they already weren't even trying to hear what Jeremiah was saying anyway, cause it, cause to them, it took him too long to come back with an answer. Cause Israel want to hear. They want to get an answer right away. Like if the Lord ain't answering them right away, they don't want to hear it. They feel like the Lord is taking too long. So that's how they fit with Jeremiah. So when Jeremiah came back and told them they got to stay in, stay in Babylon or uh, let the Babylonians um, uh, rule over them, they was like, man, I'm not finna listen to that. He's lying. I'm not finna, I'm not finna do that, man. So they already, went, they already went trying to hear that. It says, uh, what was it? So Jehan, the son, verse four. So Jehan, the son of Korea, and all the captains of the forces and all the people obeyed not obeyed not the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Egypt. So I find this, I find that very interesting that they they basically saying Jeremiah is a liar, and that he's speaking falsely. But yet they literally just said ahead of time that they're gonna obey the Lord whether it's good or bad, and they didn't. So technically they are the liars, right? They are the ones that lie. They don't want to. They don't want to talk about that though. They want to point the finger at Jeremiah, acting like he said something wrong, acting like he's lying. But y'all literally said out y'all own mouth that if it sound good or bad or not, y'all still going to obey. It don't matter what it was. If it's good or bad, you're going to obey. But y'all literally not obeying. So that makes y'all the liars. It says, um, verse 5, But Johan, the son of Kuru, and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah that were uh, returned from all nations whether they had been driven 
to dwell in the land of Egypt, Judah. So they didn't they didn't um they didn't listen to the most high God counsel. Um it says even men and women and children and the king's daughters and every person that uh never Nebuzaradan, the cap the captain of the guard had left with Gedaliah, the son of Ahakim, 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 the son of um Shephan, 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 and Jeremiah the prophet and Baruch the son of Neriah. So they came into the land of Egypt. So they 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 literally went into the land of Egypt. After Jeremiah, y'all just went and you know y'all know Jeremiah is a, is a is a a mighty brother, man. That's out here prophesying. Y'all literally went. Jeremiah literally went to the Lord, man. He was patient ten days. Think about how Jeremiah was feeling. He was patient for ten days. He listening to y'all. He literally was patient for ten days to come back and give y'all an answer. And y'all don't listen to nothing he say. Think about it. Jeremiah. You probably was mad, man. He probably was irritated because they literally just imagine you seeing these people going into Egypt. Like these, you, you got to be thinking these people are bugged out. These people are stiff necked and hard headed. They don't listen. Just to see them going to Egypt after you just told them what the Lord said to stay, right? Just to stay, and, and He gonna make you prosper. He gonna make sure you're all right in the land of your captivity. But our people don't want to listen. That we that's how you know that we the Israelites. We don't want to listen until uh S H I T hit the fan. That's the only time our people want to listen. Now, when that famine and pestilence happens, that's when they go on, oh my God, we should have listened to Jeremiah. We, we gotta go back. It's gonna be too late. You didn't listen the first time. That's how our people are gonna be when all hell break loose. It's gonna be the same exact way. We're telling our people right now to repent. Destruction is coming. Keep the commandments. Get right with the Most High God. They don't want to listen. They want to do whatever they want to do. But when all hell break loose, that's when they're going to want to get right and repent. But it's going to be too late. We've been warning you like Jeremiah. We're telling you what the Lord is telling you through the Bible. But a lot of our people don't want to listen. They want to do what they want to do. So they're going to have to feel the same pain that these people are going to feel by leaving and going into Egypt. So this was just a quick little video, man. I might make a part two going into, you know, what the Lord did to that place while they was there. Might do a part two on it. But um, I just want to make this a quick video just to just to show, man, that uh, that um, this is our people. We must be patient, wait upon the Lord. And we got to keep prophesying no matter what, man. Whether they listen or whether they're not, we must continue to prophesy at the end of the day. Right, so with that, I'm going to give all honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. I say Shalom and Kwame Ashwala.